Hello everyone and welcome to MBM1 channel. In this video today, I will try to be quick as fast as I can to explain to you why you're facing the problem that you cannot uh, that you cannot uh, modify the file or or change the file or 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 or, or sometimes it's not even even you do that it didn't work for you for you. The Nvidia it's a software, okay? It's related to uh, the to the to the hardware, which is the graphic card. You know the physical graphic card. It's a separate graphic card. My videos was about my videos were about about the the desktop graphic card, which is the the big graphic card. You put it inside your computer, desktop, not laptop. So I didn't work for the laptop. I didn't try it in the laptops. And the most of the people here, they said, I read the comments. I don't want to leave any comment. Comments. I want. I'm. I'm go. I'm going through all the comment. Comments. Comments. Com. 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 Comments. <laughs> okay. And once I read the comments, I see some of some of you. They have some problems while they want to install the application. It says access denied. Or this is access denied. Except I will try to sh to make a difference between two errors or two problems that I understand. I understood from the from the comments some of, of you they don't have access to modify the file and the others either even the in they modify the file you cannot the application didn't work i will start from the first uh once i'm reading the comments i'm not just reading and answering sometimes i'm taking over to the remote control some some of the users and try to help them and the, the remote control their computers and try to help them uh, one of the one of of the people uh, I try to help him he really not one just a lot but one of them what I remember he asked me okay I, I did I watched my video more than 20 times and I did everything and it didn't work I told him okay you, you want you you need to to you tried a lot and you want you want it to work so I'll try to help you I talk the remote control to his PC and I start to to see the the computer first it, 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 it was a laptop there is no issue it can work for some some laptops okay but once I right click property and see the graphic card and then, then I see it's Intel so it didn't it will not work it's Intel how it will work I don't know the I don't have any idea it's impossible the the, the the CPU or the GPU, the processor, which is on the top of the graphic card and the circuit board, and this is this is all controlled by the software. You know, the, the all the circuits on the on the board it con are controlled by the by the by something called the software. Okay, there is something behind the software, but I'm just sending you the software. Once you say it's an Intel, it's different circuit board, it's different the processor, it's different thing, and you try to install. Uh, Nvidia on an Intel graphic card. This, this is it will it's it's blown my mind. I don't know how to explain that. So this is the first thing. First thing, if you want to install the Nvidia, you need to make sure that you have the hardware, the the compatible hardware. Okay. Sometimes the the company it stop supporting some of the graphic cards, and this is why I put a video. They have new technology. They have a new graphic cards coming, and then they create a new graphic card. They are not. They want to work. They want to go forward. They want to go to. You want to see the future. They don't want you to, to stay covering or supporting a graphic card from 19 or or the I don't know or 2001. It's all. It's over. But some of the people they, they don't have a money to buy a new one, and they want to to. To have that future in their graphic card so some of the graphic cards it's working on them if you uh, if you try to modify the this the file the, the dll file which is the comparison file so it will compare the graphic card is it in the list okay go if it's not in the list okay stop so we just here adding the the id the graphic card id to the to the to the to the DLL file and with the telling to the graphic card okay go ahead and this is not hundred percent safe I'm telling you this is it and if you do this you do it in your own risk this is not hundred percent safe this is only if you if you you know what you are doing so you're, you're squeezing the card you're trying to get 
more the power more power from the graphic card it's not easy so you're getting a lot of power from the graphic card or sometimes you you activate an option which is not there when you install the software software have more uh, more more uh, more applications more more options and the graphic card didn't support it so you turn it on and here you will have some crashes so it crashes so this is the first one second problem is the some people they have the access denied they cannot change the file so the super easy way to do it is just to to download this application you open it you run it as administrator you click download this is the this is the link I, I put the link on the in some of the videos I put also the link in the description this is you install it you open it you run, you open it as right click on the application on shortcut you are right click on it and you run it as administrator then you click file open a new and you open the file which is you want the one you want to uh, to modify it okay and you click on it then you start to modify and you save it if you want to save it at the same direction sometimes it will tell you access denied that you cannot change the file so here what you can do you will save it to your desktop it's super i'm trying to this is my english and this is what i learned sorry if i did some mistakes or something so you save it in your desktop you download another application we call it unlocker this is unlocker it allow you to delete the files with, that you don't have access to delete them so you go to the you install it and you once you install it you will have an, an, a more option in your mouse once you right click you will see here somewhere here uh, a locker you check a locker you will you will see uh, delete then you click delete on that file the file that you want to change it with the new one you install you saved in your desktop okay you delete it it will ask you to restart the pc the pc will restart so he can delete the file so once you restart the pc you can copy the file on your desktop that you made that you modified and save it in your direction then you start uh, you start uh, then you start to make your your uh, you start to install the application and if it didn't work it means that it will not work only i'm still looking for for for, for another ways so thank you again for watching and don't forget to subscribe share like and comment and i have here a uh, face my my facebook page i'm just a new so if you want to help me and do some some likes here some stuff good stuff you know what to do sorry about my <laughs> my english thank you again for watching and see you in the next video bye